The Twelve Days of Christmas, Day 8. Good morning, this is Harrods of Knightsbridge. My name is Reginald. How may I help you? Oh, hello again, sir. The Eight Maids of Milking? Yes, that's right, sir. That's the Harrods Yuletime Catering Team that you ordered to prepare today's breakfast for you. Yes, the six geese are laying, sent two days ago, should be fully settled in now, and comfortable enough to have been laying eggs in readiness for this morning, in time for the major milking catering team to weave their magic for you and your guests, sir. We have sent a team of eight, sir, to cater for breakfast for forty, as requested, sir. Oh, they will take it all in their stride. They are consummate professionals, sir. Or perhaps that should be consumption professionals, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Could you please repeat that, sir? I'm not sure I heard you correctly. Oh, it should be breakfast for fourteen, not forty. Oh, dear. Well, I think you might be a little over-catered for then, sir. Well, your writing is not easy to decipher, sir. I must say that it, it looks more like 40 than 14 on your order to me, sir. Well, perhaps you could invite the poor of the parish to join you for breakfast, Ebenezer Scrooge style, sir, hmm? Ah, you live in Ascot. I see. No poor in that parish then, sir. Might I suggest instead that... Perhaps you, sh you could indulge yourself in the January sales and invest in an industrial-sized freezer. That way you could feast like a king for the rest of the year. Well, yes, of course, the eight maids are milking have brought their cows with them, sir. Otherwise they would be simply maids, sir, not maids are milking. Yes, for the fresh milk, sir. One needs fresh milk for breakfast, sir. Oh, I see. So the geese immediately perceived the cows as a threat, turned aggressive, and have chased them onto your prized vegetable patch, sir, where they are currently gorging themselves on your prized vegetables. Well, that is most unfortunate, sir. Although good for the milk, I shouldn't wonder. Well, they are generally docile animals most of the time. So I would suggest that with the assistance of the maids, you corral all the cows in an area far removed from your prized vegetable patch, sir, and salvage from it what you can. No, sir. Harrods cannot be held accountable for your vegetable losses, I'm afraid. Well, I refer you back to the contractual agreement that you signed, and presumably read, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, and be sure to keep the cows as far removed from your calling birds as possible as well, sir. Bovines and these particular avians simply do not mix. Unless, of course, you want to experience an eight-cow stampede through your celebratory breakfast, sir. Oh, yes, sir. It is definitely the calling birds that are the aggressors, sir. They may look like sweet little things, but they are very territorial and extremely violent as a consequence, sir. All of the other domestic animals, and most of our handling staff, are terrified of them and give them a wide berth. Yet we, that is Harrods, have long considered not stocking them, sir. But they are an extraordinarily popular choice with our clientele, sir, and hence very lucrative. Although it must be said that we don't get a lot of repeat orders, sir. Once bitten, twice shy, you might say, sir. <laughs> yes... Yes. Well, my best advice is for you and your guests to steer well clear of them unless absolutely necessary, sir. Yes. Yes, thank you, sir. Yes, Reginald, sir. That's right. Thank you, sir. Goodbye.